You know what? I never have saw this video. Uh, I kind of want to watch this together, you guys, if you don't mind. Well, here we are again. After you guys have absolutely smashed the heck out of like and loved the last episode of us looking at High Guardian Spice. <laughs> the funny thing is, I said everything wrong with High Guardian Spice, and I literally only meant really the first episode because if I did the other episodes, it would just be an incredibly long video. And I didn't really think people would care that much. Apparently, you guys really wanted the rest. So I'm like, right. okay, we got the three episode rule. We're going to go to the third episode, see how bad this rabbit hole really This is gets. a really good video. I'm, I'm glad you like the it. The same things that I you know, said in the first video, such as the bad animation, kind of the wacky voice acting. You know, like, it, it's just questionable there. And even the, you know strong language intended for mature audience only things they're like eh. let's just go into this are uh, with a nice open minds and let's just see how episodes two and three hold up okay episode so you guys two don't remember from the first episode perception indeed was accomplished now we're <laughs> at the school where <laughs> uh i'm glad you know literally nothing was accomplished yes indeed L nothing nothing of importance happened literally nothing Actually, things should be happening. It's true. We hope. Okay. Okay, this little gargoyle bothers me. Instead of like a roar, it's like a bell noise. And there's clearly no old bells or anything ringing there. It's just him roaring, but it's a bell sound. Come on, man. So now they're going to do it's this a little thing. big announcement, the orientation thing. And surprise, surprise, the headmasters are three women. It really shouldn't surprise anyone. This is only really relevant because at the final episode, the bad guys were all men in the console. I'm just, I'm just going to point some things to like out. It all right, yeah. Let's dance. You seem to like, let's dance? Okay. I see. I see. Should we start? I think we should give the students a minute to settle in. Waiting gives me hives. We know. We have grumpy old lady in charge of this school. And yep. apparently she gets hives and stuff like that. Why is she in charge of children when she clearly doesn't like her job or anything here? She's completely rude. This is not what you should see. And you can even see the other people don't like her as well. Hush! <laughs> we have a thing to say. We have a thing to say. She seems to be like the oldest and wisest here, but she says we have a thing to say. Oh, I'm so kooky. I'm an old granny and I'm at the head of the school. As it is your yep. first day of school, you've each teachers had to hate their students, I guess. But she's a headmaster. Over the course of three years. And she's just doing this openly. Before we send you off to class. I think it's pretty creepy the way these three kind of finish each other's sentences, even though th I don't think they're blood related. I mean, maybe they are, but they're not twins, you know? It's like something you see out of horror movies. It's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> Just, just, just saying that, you know, just saying that. Um, no good stuff. Orientation, only disorientation. <laughs> Yo, I say some awful jokes, but wow, that is really bad. I don't know what else to say. That, that's just a strike, just for the terrible joke. And again, clearly, this granny wants to screw over every single one of these children out here. I can you, can you not have this lady in charge when she clearly wants to sabotage everything? Here's okay. Here. Write some lousy vows and yell what you wrote into that hole over there. All right. Yell into a hole. Yell into a hole. Got it. So the whole plot behind this nice big speech that they were given for minutes at a time is to yell into a hole now that they're at this school. Like, wow. Okay. Yell into a hole your vows. So magical. Welcome <laughs> to High Garden Yes, the Academy. magical holes. Everybody leave. Yep. Welcome to the academy. Now everybody leave and she's like threatening them with their stick. Is she gonna blow them up with magic? There's even some students that are left behind. They're just still looking at her and just like, yes, please blow me up. I don't want to be in this show anymore, please. <laughs> How is it that I didn't yeah. know about the vows? Am I doomed to failure? Ooh, that's good. Now they have confirmed hentai also? Wait, what? Rose, Mary. 
Those are just my feelings. What are we talking about? Great vows. So main character wants her best friend forever to be doomed to failure. And that'd be great vows. Yes, I want you to be doomed for failure forever. Yo, I, again, <laughs> I cannot stress enough that this main character is a psychopath. She doesn't even want her best friend to succeed. Yeah. Attention class. Yeah. My name is Viverna Dredge. So they got this redhead devil to Silver teach humans Silver actually got someone ethics. to fall for it. A devil to teach Oh, ethics. nice. Yo, this school is doomed to fail before I even, like, even started on this show. And the thing that really bothers me is the fact that she's got lopsided horns on the top of her head. I get the fact that her hair's supposed to cover where the horn connects, but it actually just looks like it's on one side of her head while there are other horns on the front. It's just really lopsided. So yeah. as the teacher you cannot un teach Look! Her Look how lopsided it is! It's not right! Anyway, I'm just saying. Lesson, the very first thing that our pinky girl does is pull out her magical girl diary yeah. of super kitty with lots of kitty doodles right in front of the class, right in front of the teacher. I, how is this show not made for kids? And how yeah. does the devil teacher not clearly see this girl not paying attention in class? Yo, this kid who was a jerk to her, she's like, you know what? I'm going to draw him lizards with hearts. And that's <laughs> supposed to make everything good. How is this show made for mature audiences? I I, I, yeah. I don't know. The kids in the background are I don't, very I don't static get it. and they rarely ever move. And the blue haired girl looks like she's going extreme derp. She looks like <laughs> she's on that very good happening magical dust stuff. Just look at that face, man. She's out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, we still haven't even got like an actual plot besides attending school nor real villain to know of. I guess the bullies are the villains now? I'm, I'm not really sure what direction the show wants. At least yeah. in like the thing they're trying to riff off, you know, Harry Potter, we had Voldemort right off the bat. You knew he was bad. His presence was always there because of Harry Potter's scar on his forehead. I'm going to call yeah. some of your names now. Zinya. So the dwarf girl's class, you can clearly see at this particular frame that the teacher is missing his tail. He's got an X where his tail would be, and I think that's like on his butt. <laughs> the X is so cursed. Yeah. His tail. Yeah. You can start by sitting down. I can do that. Teacher says you can start by sitting down after she's late to class, but if you looked at the rest of the class, nobody's sitting down because there's no seats. So why is he telling her to sit down? Hey, yeah. Just say, I'm just pointing your some things out. Roommate, right? You're lucky. As I stepped on crack, yes. Don't <laughs> worry, I'm here. At ease, pores. At ease, pores? This girl just comes out of nowhere, shoves these girls aside, and says, At, at ease, ease pores. pores. Why not just say plebs? Plebeians? Why not just say, like, at ease, commoners? Or, you know, something that says, like, a little bit more, like, status -y instead of pores. You just... You take all of the class out of her with this terrible grammar or whatever. At ease, pores. pores. Hello, everyone. <laughs> all right. Welcome to Who wrote this script? Outfits. Yeah, I don't know. I'm Professor Caraway. Fabulous. <laughs> 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 Not the voice I was expecting, but okay. And just so uh, you know, there is a reason why the teacher sounds like this. I'll get to it later. I've read all right. or up uh, my mother... She had a lot of books. So Fabulous. That is wild. It's a <laughs> That is a wild. God, oh man. Some of these edits are so good. I love this video. Right? Where are you from? He just clearly ignores this kid who's clearly bullying another. <laughs> what, why are these teachers so horrendously bad at this school? All Education in 2021 in a nutshell. This is so sad. Probabilities. They must <laughs> More <be> staring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is where I call the biggest BS right here. There is no boys in freaking blacksmithing. What? The coolest place where guys would love to be blacksmithing. Just cat stairs. There's no yep, yep. They, they literally, they had cat stairs. Trust me. Uh, I recorded about an hour and 10 minutes of this chat. Uh, of ripping the show apart. Chino put in 27 minutes of just the best. 
I just want to point that out. Um. Uh. So I had more content, but this has been edited out to just 27 minutes. It's all right. Chino deserves it. Guys, 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 don't worry. Chino's getting properly compensated. Don't worry. Blacksmith boy? Do you not think that I also work hard to put all this? I, I put down timestamps of where all these points were. Okay? It's, uh, John. There's one boy in here, but he's throwing a baby tantrum because a girl finished before. Wow. <laughs> yeah. If you make two, a couple of you could spar on the John. <laughs> two pounds of a hammer I know. against an anvil does not Thank you. make a How? dagger. You cannot do it yep. that quick. That's that doesn't make any sense. So mm, just two pounds, done. Yes, dismissed. What student finishes early and then all of a sudden, you know what? Class is dismissed. We're done here. Also, by the way, you can <laughs> clearly see that the tail exists on the teacher again. The, the case of the missing and disappearing tail. When the teachers realize that crusty old magic kids don't belong. Out of context is great. How about we give you a raise and you give Chino a 69 cent raise? Deal? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. Of course, thick daddy boy. Ooh, ooh. of course. Uh, oh. Out of context is great. Yeah, I it, there's a lot of context stuff and this is just I'm from Pebble. There is a village called Slab, but it had to be evacuated due to locusts. Ugh, your comebacks are as stale as your magic and your hat. <laughs> hey, you should apologize. You should apologize for that posture, sweetie. You look Got like an invertebrate. And guess what? <laughs> Oh, fucking God, Chino. Not letting you go until you agree. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, dude. Are you sure this show is meant for mature audiences out here? Like, really? Yeah. Come on, dude. That's so dumb. Honestly, these first two episodes I could show to I a scare you? child. And it would fit right in with any of the shows that they're watching. Just this dumb, drivelly garbage nonsense. They, they couldn't tell the difference. Okay, this kid is clearly like running for his life using the widest birth angle right there. He had that whole thing to do like a like a quick, easy turn, but he does the sharp turn when he's about to hit the wall. I like, it's just literally just for a meeting. I don't understand. And in this next scene, the teacher just says it's completely unnecessary that they ran. You didn't need to run. I ran. You think anyone this <laughs> I <ride>? ran. <laughs> <laughs> what did this black girl just kick this other elf in the face? <laughs> Is it just normal to be kicking another person in the face? <laughs> so what's with these kids just pushing air and doing all this just, tight just kicks her in the face with their shoe? Here. Whoa. Ooh, magic show, yes. Okay, so you got this magic club school out here. What do they got for magicking in Elf here? Elf raises them, I know. Clubs? They have pottery and dance. Come on, man. At least Harry Potter came up with like its own little sport. There's so many more cool things you can do with magic, and you're going with pottery and dance? Okay, <laughs> at least with the pottery one, they used magic here, but now there is a tightrope. A, a, a tight rope club? This is a circus act? This seems to be a lot of clowns here. Okay. And reused animation. Yet again of the bell gargoyle. Actually, is it is it the same time? Okay, no, they just flipped the, the hand. That's all they did to change it. It's not the exact same, but they just flipped the little hand. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, please, sit. All right, so they have a teacher that kind of looks like a hooker. Great. She's even <laughs> smoking in front of the class. Ah, uh, a hooker using drugs to teach children. Oh, this this is going to end up very well. Okay, not necessarily a hooker, but basically the Japanese equivalent of a geisha. Okay. This has to be the dumbest <laughs> silent room scene I've seen of just deadpan silence for the longest time of her just going to sit next to her and then just the oops, oops, oops. Oh, wait. 
<laughs> Have you seen Slash plan to watch Riot Games Arcane? It's actually so flipping good. Oops, it's so fluffing good. Uh, I mean, I watched the first episode live on stream. I'll probably watch the rest. I currently I have to watch Jujutsu Kaisen. I have to watch Cowboy Bebop probably for a video. Um, and then I also have to um. And then maybe I can get to Arcane, but I ha I have a lot of things I gotta get to. Like, oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. Can't yeah, Bebop's so already out. Fun. And this is potions class. Have some tea. I got a, I got a lot of things to do, chat. <laughs> Did you enjoy your poison? <laughs> yeah. The potion teacher just told them to drink. Um and by drinking she just poisons the entire class. A teacher poisoning the entire class. You have one hour yeah. to concoct a potion that will stop you from perishing as a result of this sophisticated poison. Yo, so they only got one hour to live before they die? <laughs> How is she a teacher? <laughs> She's yeah. trying to murder her entire classroom. Yo, this kid literally has hands for feet. Or feet How for hands. How is he supposed to make a potion when he's got feet hands? He's, yeah. he's screwed. Yeah. Welcome, first <laughs> into the vine I boom. Kone Savet, proud to be your battle tactics instructor and future personal hero. Today, we begin with tree poses. So, the battle instructor starts them out with a tree pose. I mean, I guess budget wise, it makes sense because it's very simple to animate, but the main character knocks everybody over anyway. Do you guys yeah. think I should get bangs? I think you shouldn't kill your students. Hey, yo, actually the first sensible thing said in the show. Don't kill your students. Holy crap. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. You did it. Break this. I don't trust it slash. Her. So nobody here is drinking that magic potion until that one bully says, okay, fine, I guess I don't want to die. And then they all drink it. Okay, so tree posing to fighting deadly dragon whelps with huge claws and teeth. Yeah, uh, I don't think children should be fighting these creatures. Yeah. They're handed. Yeah. A burp joke. Really? Children. Yeah. Listen. I mean, Hogwarts wasn't much safer. We I guess. The but these are first year students, bro. They literally just got there and they're making them fight fucking baby whelp dragons. Bells you recited into the confessional well. Let's take a look at some of them. So they're now listening to everyone's vows out loud in front of like the entire school body. And this kid has the creepiest thing I think I've ever heard. I vow to think about anything that's not wet, loud kissing. What was that? <laughs> I vow never to think about anything that's wet, loud kissing. What in the fuck? Hey, hey, yo, what the fuck? Can you repeat the what? Um. It is an adventure. Okay, bye. And that's it. Oh, really? Welcome all. Congratulations on surviving disorientation. <laughs> <laughs> now we get to the wrap up of the episode of after all that BS garbage of being a guardian is so great. They're all just friends and magical together and everything's so hunky story even though the main character almost killed this black elf lady and and yeah and apparently they're cool now yeah friendship is magic i guess wait where have i heard that one are they are they trying to mimic that show now <laughs> so yep. episode three i guess they've been training we're having this little montage of them becoming better at what they do sort of this just feels like star wars where raised is like Swinging her lightsaber around and now suddenly she's a master grand Jedi. It feels so undeserved. I don't know. It's just, I don't like it. In this scene, our black elf here clearly is holding just the handle of her bow. But in the next scene over, the bow appears. <laughs> so they clearly <laughs> forgot to animate her bow. Yeah. My head. 
You. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So there's this massive, like, bug or fly that lands on her sandwich here. It's massive, but dang, look at that hand. <laughs> look at how the hands look. Look, I am no artist myself, but wow, there's zero shade. That hand looks so freaking atrociously bad. I'm yeah. I'm only saying it because it's literally right in our face. <laughs> Someone just throws away the sandwich. Just rip the sandwich, bro. The one thing that matters to me. So she said after, like, fighting this bug that she breaks her sword and she says this is the one thing that matters to her. But what about the picture on her necklace? I mean, she also has a blacksmith friend. I don't know. I, you think the blacksmith friend could just fix it? Just saying. She is a blacksmith. Yeah. Yo, that teacher coming out like an initial D drive. <laughs> <laughs> How does he walk so fast while holding a book? Excuse me? Hello, everyone. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Day, the zoom zooms. Us with changes. Oh, no. Our sword. Oh, God, it's broken. But frog goats are back. Oh, oh my Lord. I'm pretty sure they're there for merchandise only. They serve no interest to the plot whatsoever. But just like the porgs of Star Wars, merchandise. Rosemary, yep. find us after. We'll fix this. Miss you. Love you. See you so soon. Miss you. Love you. See you so soon. Jesus Christ. There's some lovey dovey stuff out. In case you forgot that they were lovers, they, I, they're making it pretty obvious. Good. Yeah. Plant your feet firmly. Find your center. Yo, this show has a lot of problems with perspective, obviously, but in this scene in particular, the kid. And the mom looks so giant in comparison to the house. It just it just looks off, all right? Yeah. <laughs> they either have a really small house or they are just really oh, giant people. Oh, Ashley, either thank one. you for the raid. I hope you had a fantastic time playing Pope. Thank you, girl. This is inconsistent here of her doing her blacksmithing job. She took more than two wax to make anything. So clearly fake a fraud out here okay yes and here we had a good see raid, that babe. the teacher is missing his tail once again yeah and also the fact that the furnace yep. seems to be overflowing with molten lava onto the floor with no sort of sinkhole or anything to absorb it it's just kind of there you think in danger's happening going on you know just maybe something bad gonna happen oh is that a lizard nope you nothing happens just like her nothing my happens friend. one of my closest friends your mom. So fixing the picture sent her into the <laughs> Your mom, do <laughs> get destroyed. Anyway. The Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. There we here. go. Now where's that basilisk at out there? Whoa. Alright. Oh, it's just a trapper. And look, your whole family. Well, at least it's not spiders, but crabs, okay? <laughs> At least they're not completely copying Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Okay. Is that how crabs sound? Okay, yeah. They can't really capture good crab sounds, but what is that? And why do these okay. things remind me of Parasect the Pokemon? I yeah. I don't know. They literally do. Clean this up. Are you going to My mouth can say words now. That is not the voice I was expecting to come out of that. And by the way, yes, we have furry appeal now. Congratulations. <laughs> we got furries. <laughs> I have got some opinions and wait, what's my name? I have got some opinions. That's the first thing you say when you become a furry. Show okay. him to Twitter. Let him make as many what tweets is as he wants. Show. You at loss. It's beautiful, Sir Ludi. It's 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 High Guardian Spice. What's oh, quick cat head, but with like the kind of man body with fingers. That's just weird. I'm uncomfortable. I am very uncomfortable. This was our first okay. acting hours, dorks. Is that your sister? It's me, actually. I'm transgender. I don't know that word. I was born into a female body, but 
it wasn't the right body for me. So I used new magic to change it. Ah, so they explained transgender. I sure hope this isn't the reason why it got a mature audience rating. They literally had to explain it to you in this show. Diversity. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. <laughs> Literally just exploded another student and with a smile on her face. Yeah. She just blew him up. Yeah. This, this is clearly not a safe school. So in this flashback <laughs> of fighting this manticore, mom My God. jumps into the air to fight this that thing poor over kid. a gaping cliff. But all of a sudden when she stabs it, she's suddenly on the ground and it just stops there. Okay. Also, there is blood. Ooh. Yep. Time. So the Dark Elf sent legit arrowheads into this furry beast. Shot him twice in the back. Yep. Sleeping potion stuff on it these arrows are tipped with napping potion that stuff could easily kill somebody all right <laughs> so the dwarf is stuck in this really weird storage closet and i don't understand how this closet even makes sense here because you have to come in from the top in order to store things it doesn't make sense functional wise even in a magical school how do you access this easily Professor yeah Fox is going to think i'm a real dunce <laughs> Such in the situation. Okay, well, that was a test. So for a lesson to just use that tiny baby blacksmith hammer, this teacher got her stuck in danger for hours on end with zero food and zero direction just to use a hammer better that makes zero sense i like i was this using zelda music serious safety violations yep you know what made all of this more interesting what if it wasn't the actual good teachers putting them through good in quotations out here but maybe like a villain doing all of this and they have to figure out their way using their brains and their skills and the power of friendship to overcome these obstacles that would have been way more interesting Nappy cat what what are you doing i have a mission i have the power <laughs> of this. i'm sorry i was just thinking that she three literally shoots arrows. three arrows in his back she has up, zero babe? mercy for this cat that has like it's not love even you? like trying to harm love him you. what is I, she no, doing love you, huh? love you. Uh, okay okay uh-huh. Amaryllis, that garbage you pulled made me lose my grip. I meant to cast a gentle, harmless spell. 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 You're a jerk. Yo, this girl is literally scolding your butt out and your homie, but you're now magically falling in love with her? Yo, this guy's a masochist confirm. What the frick is this? What? Okay, this so... This guy in chat? As you can see here, this rot is what took mom away. They're the evil pentacles. Those are lung and At heart shots? Yeah, I know. A hint at maybe a greater plot something so that's the end of three episodes yeah at the end of three episodes we can see that the teachers really don't care about the students the students are a well ashley came by to she's not here anymore around them there is no villain besides i guess the teachers and the students literally there's no good guys three episodes and we don't have a clear direction of where this is going yet and the only like thing that we have just to egg us on a little bit is the mystery surrounding the mom and the rot. That's that's about it. I don't know. This show is just a legit disaster. I I, yeah. I don't like any of the characters. The only one that's somewhat likable, I guess, to me, is maybe the blue-haired witch girl. That's about it. And that's only because she's clearly not trying to murder anybody. Unlike literally everybody else in the cast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's going to do yep. it here. I don't know if I want to do any more of this here. Please um, free me. Don't let make me do any more of this. Please. I don't want to watch any more. I don't want to go in depth of all this. Please 
free me. If you have yeah. other shows you would like me to review in a similar manner, please leave them below. I'd be glad to give no. them a look. And no more. Now, thank you so much for watching. No, I'm leave good. Leave a like, subscribe for some more. Thank you for just watching content, that nightmare. Yeah. You beautiful sons of guns. Am, are you watching more episodes? You crazy mother. Nah, I'm, I'm fine, fam. Wait, what's the what's the meme he put at the end? Oh, I want to see what the meme he put at the end. <laughs> okay. okay, dude. Uh, Kanata for the win. Thank you for the 44 months. Booty slaps to you, man. Uh, thanks for saying that. Uh, yeah, again, my services saved your brain cells. Okay, uh, I'm only doing what was right, chat. Uh, also, let me turn on at least my ceiling uh, fan because it's hot as shit in here. Uh, I already feel my legs sweaty. What's up? No, no sweaty noble. No sweaty noble. Okay, Ashley. Ashley wants me to be sweaty. I have no idea why she wants that. 2014 noble keg W. Sweaty no Ashley. What the fuck? You can't just bully me like that. What the fuck? My God, you already see me sweaty. Alright, but chat wants Sweaty Noble. Love you. Oh, I see. I, I see how it is. I see. Congrats to One Piece. Yeah, I kind of want to do a uh, special on One Piece because it reached a thousand episodes. So I want to do something there. What's world building? <laughs> An exhaustive critique on High Guardian Spice. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's absolutely fucking terrible. Atrociously bad. But, you know, that's, that's just how it is out here, you know?